on in. I got murder on my mind. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the afternoon session, KMAC Talks, live streams. Um, you know, I'm going to do a live podcast. I want to do it every single night. I may miss some nights, but I'm always doing the KMAC Talks live podcast. I'm going to post what we'll talk about each night. Last night we talked about sports. Um, uh, I'll do a lot of sports talk on there. Um, but we'll talk about everything on the live podcast. And that'll be every night on 8 or 9 o'clock. Once we, I'll get a set schedule down. Right now we just started. I'm excited. I think it went great last night. I really enjoyed the live podcast format. So the KMAC Talks podcast will always be live at night, but I want to do some more live streaming here on Instagram during the afternoons, just chilling, hanging out, talking to uh, whoever joins me. So I'm going to start doing some some KMAC Talks live streams here on Instagram every, maybe every afternoon. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. So uh I'm Kevin K. Mac McCarthy. If you don't know me, probably, uh, I don't know why you'd be here if you didn't. Uh, but yeah, let's get into, let's, let's talk. Let's have some fun this afternoon. Um, what I wanted to talk about today, uh, my juice world going. I oh, mean, seriously, some, some unreleased juice world is like better than most rappers nowadays released songs <laughs> but um uh, what was I gonna say before um um damn I hate that I'm like real OCD I think about something I want to talk about on here and if I don't if I can't remember what that was it's gonna bother me all day what the heck did I want to talk about some, um, uh, let's see, I don't know, hmm, I don't know, I don't know what I wanted to talk about, but, um, shit, that's gonna bother me, whatever, you know, um, let's get into, uh, get into what's in the news, um, what I want to talk about today, I really like this light blue hat. Usually I don't, uh, I don't like the dad hats. They don't fit my head. You know, you ever got like, you ordered hats online and you didn't get to try them out? A hat is all about how it fits on your head. Sometimes it's not even about the design. This is about how does it fit on my head is the most important thing. The dad hats, I have a big head, pretty big noggin, seven and three quarters on a, uh, on a fitted hat. So I have a big head and the dad hats don't fit that well. And I always am disappointed when I get them in the mail, but this dad hat really fits. I like the light blue. It brings out the brown in my eye. On this shirt from uh, Lonely Hearts Club, cream, beavis and butt. I love this shirt. Really excited about my outfit today. Don't mind my my fatness. I got man boobs. Never had man boobs in my life. I gotta start working out. Clearly, but it's very difficult. Very difficult to do. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Anyways, Bill Burr at the Grammys. It's crazy that he even did that. Yeah. Bill Burr just doesn't seem like someone who would do the Grammys like that. You know, I guess anyone could do the Grammys if they're at, like anyone would do it if they're asked, I guess, but I feel like the Grammys have lost a lot of allure, a lot of, like, people are starting to care less and less every year about the Grammys, so it's like, um, so the Grammys, I just started losing... Hi, Lori. That's why it is. Hey, how are you? Thank you for joining me. It's just, just us. But yeah, the Grammys are getting less and less uh, popular. I think every year the Grammys get a little less popular. So it was surprising Bill Burr even did anything on the Grammys, even accepted to do that. 
Um, you know, it doesn't seem like his type of thing. He seems like anti-establishment type, anti-award show is what I would describe Bill Burr as. But apparently he said some things that offended some people and he's trying to get canceled now. They said, like, um, what did he say? Like, uh, what is a cis white male doing or something? I'm not even sure what does the word cis mean. Is it just, like, simple person or something? I'm not even sure I, uh, what it means, but apparently people do and they, uh, cancel, they're trying to cancel him for it. So it's like, wh why? What is it? Like, I was thinking, like, why are people that offended about the, like, I was trying to think, like, why, you know, are people, I watched it, and there, he didn't say much. I'm like, why are people offended by this? Why are people even trying to cancel him? And I, I watched another podcast, and it all hit me. It all deemed, it all came down on me today from other people talking about it. And the, so that's what I want to discuss today. Why does my screen keep getting dark? Is it going to turn? My phone's not going to turn off. Um, but I think, I think it's people. That's just because the Grammys are getting less popular every year. Like I said, less and less people are watching ratings-wise. People are starting to care less and less because they know you don't need to, you don't need a Grammy to be successful anymore. I mean, in rap, Nas, uh, Nas didn't have one forever, and you know, a legendary rapper. So you you don't need Grammy uh, Grammys to be a success. Wow, successful artist anymore so and people are less people and less and less people are just watching it so i think this whole you know he getting canceled thing it's just to to promote the grammys because now what now people are gonna go and uh you know watch that part of the grammys i think it was before the show anyways he was just he was introducing the like the little random awards in the beginning, like the best contemporary Latin jungle album or some shit. Like, literally, it was something like that. The, <laughs> the Rainforest album of the year or something. I don't know. It was like Tropical. That was a Tropical Latin performance album. That's the, the stuff he's announcing in the beginning. So, it's like... To promote the Grammys, they say he said some... Some crazy. Well, uh, to promote the Grammys, they say he said some wild things. He didn't even say any wild things, but now you go and you watch the Grammys. And this just got me thinking like, is this whole Dr. Seuss thing and, and Mr. Potato Head and all this, are th is this just to, to sell like Mr. Potato Heads? Like, you haven't heard anything. For Mr. Potato Head and forever, I didn't even know they still made Mr. Potato Heads. I thought they had stopped making them. Uh, but apparently they still make them. You know, where your kids can buy them, adults can buy them, whoever. And, you know, now I've heard about Mr. Potato Heads and I remember them. And maybe now, you know, you go buy one. You know, how did they get that promotion? from changing it to a gender neutral potato or whatever. It's no longer a male potato or a female potato, I believe. I believe it's just like one androgynous, you know, just one potato now. He's a, he, the potato has no sex. Uh, it's just a potato, which is how it kind of should have been, even though the company is called Mr. Potato Head. Uh, you know, maybe it should have just been a potato head. And anyways, like, are we really, is there really a potato penis out there? Or, I mean, uh, are potatoes really reproducing? Was it really necessary to even have a gender? I, I don't know. But now we, like, are thinking about potato heads. I guarantee they sold a lot of potato heads because of this. You know, and Dr. Seuss was probably plummeting in popularity. The books weren't selling as much. I mean, I'm sure they were selling a little bit. You know, he's always going to be Dr. Seuss and sell stuff. 
But I'm sure they were hurting, maybe. It was a pandemic. They just weren't selling as many books. And what's going to make them sell books? Controversy. You know, just like any press. Even bad press is good press. Any press is good press. You know, in this case, any press is good press. I mean, now everyone, everyone's talking about Dr. Seuss. Everyone. And I guarantee he's selling more books. You know, is probably old copies of that book they canceled are probably selling off the shelves on eBay or whatever. You know, this was great promotion for Dr. Seuss. So the whole thing's just got me thinking, like, is cancel, is cancel culture really just these big corporations, you know, just doing this stuff to sell their products? You think? Um, uh, that's what I think. That's what I think. I think it's they're they're canceling Mr. Potato Head. They're canceling Dr. Seuss and all this just for promotion. It's all a promotion scam. They're doing it to actually sell the products. That's what I think. You're home, Merlin. Right? 152. I'm just doing an Instagram live, just talking to literally no one. I don't know if Lloyd's still in here. No. There's zero people. <laughs> just talking about, but I'm just practicing going live. Just talking about how I think that, like, because they're trying to cancel Bill Burr, and like the jokes they're trying to cancel him for weren't even that bad and everything. And I uh, heard on another podcast, and I think it's a great idea. The Grammys are getting less popular every year, so I think they're just doing that. Because it promoted the Grammys. Now you went and watched that, and it probably boosted their their uh, you know viewers. So that's probably what they did with Dr. Seuss. Probably what they did with uh, Mr. Potato Head. All these things they're trying to cancel. They're probably just laughing all the way to the bank because they cancel. They're probably just canceling for free promotion. When's the last time you talked about Dr. Seuss? No, not in 10 years. All of a sudden, everyone's talking about Dr. Seuss because he's getting canceled. So is this cancel culture really just... It's the corporations. It's the corporations are doing... I think it's the gendered potatoes out to get us. Yeah. I mean, we're potatoes really, like, banging and having sex. We got potato penises and... Like... Uh, since I don't think anyone's joining the stream, I'm, I'm going to save this for tonight, save this topic, but... I want to know what Hungry Hungry Hippos is going to get canceled. <laughs> hungry Hungry Male Hippos. Oh, Stelio joins, just when I was going to turn it off. <laughs> Young Jaime, my roommate. I guess I could say his name, wants it a lot, Stelio. We're talk- we were talking about, uh, you know, miss just how I think it's all to sell Dr. Seuss and to sell Mr. Potato Heads, all this canceling, like can- saying Bill Burr trying to cancel him on the-, the Grammys is because no one watches the fucking Grammys anymore. Who watches the Grammys? Who cares? Their audience been going down every year, so they Bill Burr says some mildly offensive things. So they're trying to cancel them. Now everyone watches the Grammys to see that part. So it's promotion, you know, and it's promotion to sell Mr. Potato Heads. When's the last time you've sold a, you know, bought a Mr. Potato Head? Probably in, never, but, well, not in a long time. But now you want to buy one because he's in the news, you know. You want to buy a freaking, you want to buy those Dr. Seuss books. It's all... All promotion, man. It's all promotion. So that's my big, uh, that's kind of my big revelation for the day that I just was going to discuss. But I'm going to save it for tonight's podcast, guys. Every night on YouTube, on the KMAC Talks YouTube channel, 
I'll be doing a live podcast, you know, it's in addition to the news videos, the shorter videos that I'll be putting out on the channel as much as possible every other day. But just to connect with the fans more, I'll be, every night I'll be doing a live podcast. So, that's where you can find me from now on. Uh, I'd like to do 8 o'clock Eastern every night, 8 to 9. It was kind of my goal. Hour long, nice little nightly podcast. That's that's the goal. So catch me on there tonight. K Mac Talks YouTube channel. We'll do fully more. We'll discuss this cancel culture a little more. So maybe I could get you know some people on there asking some questions. We'll do it then. This was a good practice. Thank you to who joined me. I'll see you tonight, 8 o'clock, KMAC Talks YouTube channel. See you there, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tonight. KMAC Talks. Coming to KMAC Security. Peace. Have a great day. Have a wonderful day. If I could figure out how to turn this off.